Hello my fellow gamers, welcome back to Comfortable Gaming. Today we're doing 10 iconic female video game characters. Number 10, Tifa Lockhart. Now one of the most iconic female characters in video game history and one of the most important characters in the Final Fantasy series and if anyone thinks of Final Fantasy female great characters, which there are plenty, the first one usually comes to, to Tifa just because of such a great game and how important she was in this game and just the character in generally as a sub and she's been oftenly compared to Lara Croft and that's a big statement to say to any character let alone a f female character and to, to compare one of the biggest icons or female icons is a big statement just shows how amazing this character is and how popular she always was over the years and just a very important and character in video game history and one of the biggest icons female icons in video game history and just Final Fantasy was always a big series and we need a great female characters in Final Fantasy and she's proven that over the years more and more and in Advert Children her story and expands and especially in the remake we get to see more of this great character and just it's always a pleasure to play this Final Fantasy game and she is always a warm heart for such a great character and brings such greatness to the series over the years. And I think in just to see her again again iconically in this remake is just absolutely amazing. And it's an absolute badass character that I don't think will be forgotten. And it will always hold a dear place in my heart, this character, this game. And just as I recently played and I always loved Final Fantasy and just the way she, how she influences the story and Cloud and she's like so important to this game. And I couldn't picture this, this game at all without her. And she's a bona fide badass and rightfully deserves to remember as one of the most iconic video game characters in recent years. Number nine, Kitana Mortal Kombat. Speaking of iconic franchise characters, I don't think a Mortal Kombat will ever be complete without Kitana. She's one of the most important characters in the roster and one of the most beloved characters in the game. And I don't think, for me personally as well, I don't think will there ever be a Mortal Kombat without Kitana. It will just feel strange. And she's one of the gr great characters in this franchise, along Sub-Zero and all the great characters of Scorpion and, and uh, Sonya Blade, for example, Jade. She's one of the main female ninjas as, as they were in the beginning of the early days of Mortal Kombat. In the latest games, Princess Kitana is now the new ruler of Outworld, finishing the Mortal Kombat 11 story, and she's solidified herself as one of the most badass characters in the game, being an emperor of one of the most harshest worlds in the game, and just showing how resilient and resourceful this character has been throughout this franchise. And one of the most important characters in this franchise and just an icon in gaming in general. People when they were growing up next to Chun-Li and great female characters in fighting games, Kitana will always be on this list. If you had to just make a great female characters in fighting games, Kitana will probably be in the top five. If you had to make a top ten list of great female fighting game characters, she's an absolute badass and... I don't know who doesn't like playing with Kitana. Obviously, there's preferences, but she's just a staple in this game and a staple in this industry. And I'm always looking forward to the next Mortal Kombat and her story. And she absolutely deserves this list, I think, to be on here as one of the great iconic characters of video game history. And her iconic weapons will never be forgotten, I think, in video game history. <laughs> At number 8, we have Rain, Blood Rain. Speaking of none of the iconic characters over the years, what's more iconic and badass as half vamp human, half vampire that goes around killing other vampires? And it's an absolute badass of a character. It's never been forgotten. It's built a huge cult following over the years to inspiring many different forms of cosplay. And like I said, build a huge cult following over the years. There's been few adaptations of live action films of the Blood Rain and as this character, as how much people have loved it. Now, the movies haven't been the best movies, but her as a character has never been forgotten as one of the icons. And people are begging for a new Blood Rain game, especially in the last couple of years. We got a little bit of a remaster of Blood, Va Blood Rain revamped. And she's also one of the first female characters to feature in Playboy out of a video game character. So she's very iconic and very popular and sometimes I feel people forget this character and very iconic 
and I feel like we need a new Blood Rain game so bad. And she see an icon again return in the new modern era of gaming, because she's definitely left a huge mark over the years as one of the more great icons and great female characters over the years. And I'm definitely looking forward to playing a new Bl Blood Rain, which we'll probably hopefully get sometimes down the line. Number seven, Alloy Horizons Zero Dawn. Now, this is one of the recent characters we got in a couple of years as a lead female protagonist. And what speaks about more badass character in a game, and I think who will become down the line in 10 years, who's already a very iconic character in herself, and who will down the line become one of the most iconic characters and probably one of the most iconic games in recent history, as in Horizon Zero Dawn. This was just something new and something amazing. And what signifies more of an amazing character than, let's say, there's huge robots. How are you going to fight robots? Usually a big gun or stuff like that. No, in this game, you play as Alloy and you fight every single huge robotic monster and stuff with a bow and arrow and a spear. What? It's, there's nothing more badass ab about that in a character that I haven't seen in a long time. And just an amazing story overall as she searches in the first game. For who her mother is and what's going on and what happened to the world why is the civilization was dis destroyed by these robots and now we got a sequel now that's come out now in february of horizon zero dawn forbidden west which looks a really anticipating sequel to such a great game and i can't wait to try this game out and play it because i'm really great to be grateful to return and to play as aloy again in one of the coolest franchises, one of the coolest new characters, I think, in video game history that will not be so important now, and it is already very important, but in the next 10 years, this will be quite an iconic character and an icon iconic video game. And I think she's already very iconic and very popular amongst fans, including myself. And I think I just had to include her on this list because it's such an amazing game and such a great character. And I'm really looking forward to exploring again Eloy's story again in this absolutely stunning game an absolutely amazing character number six princess zelda speaking of iconic characters princess zelda is one of the iconic and memorable characters over the years alongside great nintendo characters over the years i know in zelda you generally play always this link and you always play as Link, rescuing usually Princess Zelda. But she's become such an iconic character. I mean, the title of all these great Zelda games over the years has been Legend of Zelda. Everything is around her. And she's the main person that you're searching and rescuing through this entire game. And I think that's a, such an important statement in the game. And she's such a great character. And obviously in Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, the new Hyrule game, you get to play as Princess Zelda and she's absolutely amazing in that game and some great combo moves and stuff and it's nice to see i would like to see maybe in breath of the wild that you played with link and princess zelda in the next sequel to this absolutely amazing game one of the greatest games i've played and just zelda is a franchise that's been so important over the years to the gaming industry and just i on nintendo's platform and the main reason people bought a nintendo switch when breath of the wild came out and Zelda's obviously plays a huge part to it in the franchise. And just an iconic character that every time I think of it, you think of Link. But you think of Zelda every time you play these games over the years. And they've just always been one of my personal favorites, especially Breath of the Wild. And he's just an enjoyable character and just a love-hearting character that you just love. And just an icon throughout the years. And one of the oldest characters on this list as well. Zelda's been around for a very long time. And I just... I had to put on this list and I'd like to see more of her as a more of a playable character in the future because it will open up the story and Zelda as, in general as a game will improve a lot I think and just give it more options to just to play with Link but also to play with Zelda and I'm hoping that Breath of the Wild 2 will be something like that but again one of the biggest icons over the years Princess Zelda. At number 5, Bayonetta, the Bayonetta series. I mean, what more can be said about this character? Absolute icon over the years. For Nintendo, for a lot of people have created this character. One of the most biggest female badass characters that can be out there. She's, if in my opinion, to say she reminds me a lot of Dante from Devil May Cry. Like a goofy, sometimes but naughty, funny 
Dante sort of character, if I had to compare anyone to her, she's an absolute badass and just absolutely amazing moves. She's one of those umber witches in the game that just, she just destroys everyone. And if you want to be an amazing witch and be a female badass, well, this is definitely the game for you to pick. And definitely the character. And there's no way she was not going to be on this list. The plethora of moves that she has and things she can do is one of the most iconic and unique characters over the years. And her very praise, she's been very praised over the years for her high feminine image, standing on both, making her both stand out among the female characters in video games. And many great gaming conventions, people always cosplay as Bayonetta because she's such a legend, if that's a way to put it, and such a legendary character over the years, an iconic character that's just amazing to see Bayonetta 3 come back, definitely. Now we've got the new series going, and this game is going strong, and rightfully so. A great game with a great character and just a great idea that just nice to see amazing protagonist female characters in games like this that sometimes get overlooked but she's definitely a character that's never been overlooked over the past years or so that's just an icon that's never been forgot forgotten and i think rightfully so deserves this place on this list number four chan li street fighter now speaking of really iconic characters and an iconic fighting game that's just been around for a really long time capcom has really outdone itself with street fighter over the years and just such an iconic game and such an iconic character that Street Fighter cannot be without Chun-Li. She's such an iconic character of, and just an absolute badass. She's an Interpol agent hunting generally Shadow Law and Bison as we know throughout the story. And that iconic kick will never be forgotten in video game history. One of the most iconic moves. Those kick leg kicks are one of the most iconic fighting move moves in video game history, let alone just a move that's known throughout the gaming industry. She's so popular with this, there's, she's been in many movies of Street Fighter invitations and there's even been a song named after her called Chun-Li. I think Nicki Minaj did a song called Chun-Li. So it's it's pretty funny to me that uh, <laughs> there's an absolutely song. Women have always been empowered by Chun-Li and she's always been famously known as an absolute badass. One of the coolest characters you can play in Street Fighter and one of the OP characters generally always in the game. And just an icon of gaming over the years, let alone a female icon. And especially she's been one of the leading ladies over the decades as one of the greatest characters and icons for ladies in video games. And just an icon in general for video games. And just an absolute pleasure to have played Street Fighter over the years and played these cool characters. And chan Li is definitely one of the highest rated, one of the greatest Street Fighter characters of all time. That will never be forgotten. And if you don't know who Chan Li is by now, then either you're not a gamer or you haven't been around that long. But generally, most people know who Chan Li is. There's not much I can say with such a badass character as this. Number three, Jill Valentine, Resident Evil. Now, one of the leading ladies of Resident Evil who pioneered the survival horror genre. An absolute icon in the series, an absolute icon in video game history, spawned many memes and over crazy things how popular Jill Valentine is. Through the original Resident Evil, to Resident Evil 3, to Resident Evil 5, to Resident Evil 3 remake, she's just always been around such a popular character, to Resident Evil Revelations, there's so many great Jill games you can play. And obviously being the pioneer or one of the first main characters you can play in Resident Evil alongside Chris, you can choose her or Chris in the first Resident Evil game, the mansion, and then obviously number three as she faces Nemesis. This woman has beaten all sorts of odds. She's been possessed as well in Resident Evil 5. She's come out through that, beaten one of the craziest monsters and one of the greatest villains and uh, monsters in video game history as Nemesis put up with Carlos's advances throughout the game and just an absolute icon. What else has she done? Creepy mansion monsters? Check. Lock picking? Check. She's also part of Star's team which is like a special task force of special soldiers in the town like special units of your SWAT. So she's well tactical and well trained and well prepared for any situation. She pioneered one of the anti-bioterrorist groups BSSA with Chris Redfield and just an icon in the series and just like this lady has done so much. 
not just the Resident Evil franchise, but just for video games as well. It's like a character that, like I've said, many on these lists won't be forgotten. And Jill Valentine, I don't think, will ever be forgotten. And just an absolute icon and one of my personal favorites. Just an absolute badass in every right of the way. And every time there's a Jill in the Resident Evil game, I'll be sure there to play it as being one of my favorite characters and one of my favorite franchises. And she's one of the reasons I love Resident Evil so much as a game. And I'm so happy to always talk about Jill Valentine and obviously Resident Evil. Coming at number two, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. Now, this is probably the most popular character on this list. The most popular female character, I think, of all time in video game history. That I mean, Angelina Jolie played this character. There's been a new Tomb Raider movie. There's been a plethora of Tomb Raider games, especially the last three that were absolutely fantastic video games. And just who doesn't like diving in searching for treasure with one of the most icons of gaming, Lara Croft. She's been beyond popular throughout the years. An absolute badass, an absolute legend, a great treasure hunter, and just an all-around just a, one of... The I think my personal favorite, most people's personal favorite characters of all time, just like I'm, she's been an icon for years in gaming, doesn't male or female, Lara Croft always gets mentioned as one of the most popular characters of all time, and just great series of games over the years, some were better than others, obviously nothing is ever perfect, but her as a character has never, never been a letdown ever in any series of games, even throughout the movie. Like, we all know Lara Croft very well. But now, before we get to the last icon on this list, iconic lady on this list, I just want to put some couple of honorable mentions that could easily be on this list or even definitely in a part two. Sonya Blade, Mortal Kombat. Clementine, Walking Dead. Siri, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Cortana, Halo series. Ellie, Last of Us. Claire Redfield, Resident Evil, Shell, Portal, and Yuna, Final Fantasy X. Samus Aran, the Metroid series. Now speaking of iconic characters, iconic female characters in video games, she's pretty much the main pioneer of it all. Originally came out in 1986, Metroid was the first in the series she was the protagonist of this game and a lot of people originally didn't know that it was a female character due to the suit and aerobic only when you finish the game you realize you're playing with a female character and people loved this idea and she was the one that pioneered female ladies to be protagonists and main characters in video games all the way back in 1986 and she's probably one of the oldest video game characters on this list and one of the oldest female protagonist characters in games on this list I'm sure there's others, but she's just been an icon throughout the generations and with the recent Metroid Dead, Dread game, which was a fantastic game on the Nintendo Switch, selling extremely well. Her popularity has never been stronger, even after all these years, and people have always loved Metroid, and it's a very challenging and very rewarding game. And her as a character, an absolute badass in this mech suit. She's like an Iron Man before... <laughs> I know Iron Man is a very old character, but she's like the female version of Iron Man in a way, in her mech suit and destroying and going around and just an absolute icon in video gaming. And she was one of the first to give ladies a push to be popular, to be the main character in a video game all the way in 1986. And it's just a franchise that's continued to grow and continued to come back and Nintendo's created such a great character over the years and an absolute, she's an absolute legend an absolute icon in video games, a pioneer of female characters, a pioneer of platformer games, and just absolute badass. Thank you again, guys, for watching. This was 10 iconic female video game characters. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, do that thing, comment below. It really helps us a lot on this channel. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, click the notification bell and leave the comments what you maybe want to see next.